Hello, thank you for being here. This is the 17th and the last episode of my ongoing series where I sit down with you all and talk about some of the photos I took in Bangladesh. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the photos I took using Cine Steel 400D on my Contax T2. And once again, Contax T2 is a rangefinder camera with a Carl Zeiss lens that has a f2.8 aperture. So without any further delay, let's take a look at the photos I took. I loaded up this roll of film in Nepal, but I didn't shoot much in Nepal with this roll. I just shot one shot from the cart that was taking us down, and then we were back to Bangladesh. I took this photo in Dhaka University. I took this same exact photo last year when I went to Bangladesh, and I was in Dhaka the day before the Eid holiday, and this place was empty and there was no human being at all except one rickshaw. I really wanted to recreate that composition and show the crowd that takes place in that area. And thankfully, there was a rickshaw in the frame. But I took this picture from a very low angle, so the crowd is not as visible as it should be. But this place was very crowded the day I took this photo. These photos came out a little bit overexposed. Not a little bit, a lot overexposed. I really wanted to take this photo because I saw this lady. She's a pretty old lady and she was selling flowers. I really, really love this picture. I wish this man in the frame that was looking at me directly wasn't in the frame. He thought I'm taking a photo of him, but I could care less if he was in the frame or not. There was a lot of rickshaw pullers that day in that block. Later on, I found out it's a residential area and around 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. all the schools around this area gets dismissed and most of these rickshaw pullers are here bringing the students back home. I saw these two ladies, they are most likely housemaids. They came outside and they were talking to each other. I wanted to take a picture of them straight head on. But nonetheless, Cine Steel 400D produced some really beautiful colors, which I'm enjoying very much in these photos. I really love this photo. Here we can see a dad and his daughter coming back from school. This daughter was very, very curious. She was tapping on the dad's shoulder and hand saying, hey, look at this guy taking photo. But the guy was really busy with doing whatever he was doing. He didn't pay much attention. But the little girl was looking directly at me. As I told you guys a bit earlier, I really enjoy taking pictures of people head on from a wide angle shot. But this picture is doing a really great job of giving us an understanding of what are the things that are going on in the surrounding environment. I think this little variation in composition gives me a little bit more inspiration to try different things with my composition. I took this picture specifically because there was cars on one side and there was rickshaw on the other side. The time I took this picture, I was also on a rickshaw. What I did was I stood up and I put my camera outside like this and I just clicked the shutter and this picture came out as it is. I didn't have much expectation for this photo, but Cine Steel 400D really, really did an amazing job at capturing the colors.
This is a street vendor and this guy specifically was selling fish. I took this picture from the back. This is the same composition I tried to take a picture of last year when I was in this block. But unfortunately that picture came out very blurry. This picture thankfully was not blurry. The color, composition, lighting, everything was perfect. So I'm satisfied with this photo. Most of the pictures that came out of this roll were very satisfying to me. But I specifically like this photo because this security guard was very very shy, didn't want me to take his photo. But I kind of talked him into posing for this picture. I really like how the purple in his uniform and the pink on the tree looking very very beautiful in the contrast that they're creating. I think from the color perspective, this picture came out beautiful. There's a few different shades of purple in this photo and few different shades of red in this photo with a hint of green, which is doing an amazing job of standing out. I love this photo. I truly, truly love this photo. I do love this photo a lot because of the composition and the lighting. I would have been very, very happy if these two cars was not in the frame. But this picture is good nonetheless. Mama, what are you doing? Mama, what are you doing? I'm going to go to the hotel. What are you doing? I'm going to go to the hotel. What are you doing? I'm going to go to the hotel. In 2004, there was a terrorist organization in Bangladesh that launched a grenade attack where the prime target was the current prime minister of Bangladesh. I met this man who was the victim of that grenade attack and during this attack his whole body was burned and he was talking to me and he took off his shirt to show me how his body was burned and I took some photos. As I was taking his photo, this man on the side showed up and he started screaming at him for no reason. So I also took this photo. I really like these two photos that I took of him. It shows how the people in his class are treated in Bangladesh. This is the last photo of this roll. I saw this man, his job is to collect garbage from every single house and take it to somewhere else so the garbage doesn't pile up on the street and creates a bad environment. More often than sometimes, I wonder why we call these people garbage men. They're not the people that are putting garbage on the street. It's us putting garbage on the street so we should be called the garbage men and they're cleaning it up so we should call them the cleaning men. But you know, our society is structured in a so messed up way that we often can't do but think more often than sometimes. This was the last picture of my last episode of this series. I really had a great time talking to you all and reviewing all this photo with you all. But you know what they say, all good things must come to an end. I am looking forward to seeing you guys in near future where I sit down with you all and talk about some of the photos I took in my Pentax 645N. Until then, take care.